sure. Now, it's time to mix it up. Starting with today's meeting of the minds of the White House. President Obama and former President Bill Clinton sitting down to talk about the tax cuts deal and the political landscape after the GOP midterm shellacking. Clinton, of course, faced a similar challenge after the so-called Republican Revolution in 1994. So what lessons, if any, should Obama draw from the Clinton experience? Joining us now are Sam Cedar, host of the Majority Report online radio show, and Matt Lewis, blogger with PoliticsDaily.com. So Sam, uh, let me start with you. What's the lesson to learn here from the Clinton recovery after 1994, if any? Well, the tax cuts don't necessarily hurt the chances of a recovery. I mean, Bill Clinton raised uh, the uh, top marginal tax rate to uh, 39% and the economy exploded. Uh, so uh, the notion of raising taxes on uh, a uh, several thousands of millionaires in the country is not going to hurt the economy at all. In fact, it's, it's, uh, it's simply a way of getting revenue into the government and letting the government spend it in a way that uh, actually does stimulate the economy. Uh, what do you think about that, Matt? And and one other thing on that, Matt, uh, since the uh, Dem uh, Democratic president seems to agree with you, will you later use that against them in saying, hey, you know what, your president is the one who wanted these tax cuts for the rich? Well, I, look, I think um, it's good that Bill Clinton is meeting with with Barack Obama. There's only one guy in America who knows what it's like to be in this position, to have won an election, a change election, two years later to be uh, repudiated, and then, uh, and then to have to try to figure out how to get reelected, and it's Bill Clinton. And look, I think Barack Obama would be wise to copy what Bill Clinton did in, uh, after 94, going into 96, and that is to triangulate. I think it would actually take a lot of po political and moral courage to pave his own way. In other words, don't go with Republicans, don't go with the left, you decide what's going to happen and then push the country that way. We'll see if he does it, but I think meeting with Bill Clinton, uh, Clinton is one of the smartest politicos out there, I, I think it's a smart move to talk to him. Sam, is the situation totally different, though, from uh, 1994 uh, in terms of the political spectrum shifting? For example, I know you and I have a disagreement. I, I thought it was a good idea when Bill Clinton uh, shifted back then in 94. But, I but back then, the political spectrum hadn't moved all the way to the right as it has now. So are we looking at a totally different uh, situation here? Well, yeah, it's a different situation. And, and frankly, it's, uh, the, the biggest uh, difference is the economy. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, Barack Obama can try and triangulate, but if the, uh, if the, uh, the unemployment rate is not trending down in two years, it's not going to make a difference. And, you know, he can simply wait for the Republicans to overreach like they did in, uh, you know, following the 94 election. He can wait for them to threaten to shut down government. Uh, but he's got to start showing some, some spine here. And frankly, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. Right. Uh, I think when Clinton went to the center, it was the actual center. And when Obama goes towards the Republicans these days, it's nowhere near the real center of the country. I think the spectrum has shifted all the way to the right. But that's my opinion. Now, next, yet another move by the Obama administration that could disappoint the left and spark more criticism that the president is caving to political adversaries. At issue are the new environmental regulations governing smog and toxic emissions from industrial boilers. The rules were supposed to go into effect January 1st. Suddenly, the EPA says it's backing off. It's delaying the new rules for at least six months, claiming it needs more time to analyze the scientific data. Sam, uh, are you buying it, or could this be because, as most environmental experts are now saying, they're worried about the GOP investigations into the EPA? Yeah, I mean, I think it, uh, it is a sort of a uh, preemptive capitulation to uh, right-wingers who are taking over uh, committees in the House. And, uh, and frankly, you know, the EPA, by their, own, uh, by their own estimates, are talking about the uh, rules that would save thousands of lives. And so this is really, it's reprehensible. And I'll tell you something, for, uh, for a lot of people on the left, one of the benefits of Barack Obama has been executive agencies have tried to undo the damage that the Bush administration did, particularly in terms of, of agencies like the EPA. And this is just headed in the absolute wrong direction. Matt, 
How ecstatic well, are you with this administration? <laughs> I mean, they well, seem to be giving you everything you want, right? <laughs> well, no, look, elections have consequences, though. And I think, you know, uh, Obama has got the message that if he doesn't change, he's going to be out of a job in 2012. The left, I think, uh, is, is clinging bitterly and desperately uh, to try to pull him back and keep him actually from, but, from probably being reelected, ironically. Um, look, I, I think that you guys are being too hard on Obama. I really think that. He has delivered a lot for the left, and uh, you would think that the guy is to the right of Attila the Hunt. I really can't believe how angry liberals are at Obama. Well, Cenk, I mean, the, the, the notion yeah. that anybody went to the polls and wanted to vote for Republicans because they wanted uh, the EPA to relax well, the they rules keep that would their save thousands of lives because is ludicrous. Look, this thing, by the way, let's just tell the whole story. I mean, originally, this was going to be cap and trade. They were going to pass it legislatively. They decided that was politically not tenable. So then they were going to push it through via regulation. And you're right, Sam. But let's get, you know, that, forget that about the politics Republicans for a second, Matt. I mean, they who are backing off from of this? it. Who benefits from this? I, mean, I would say people who, have, people who want jobs, air, which people who want jobs in Ohio to, to and West Virginia, and President the, Obama, the mental development of children. And so, I mean, what, what are we talking about here? We have a, a, a 9.6 percent unemployment rate, I think. President Obama wants well, to be reelected. Want to push, if you people want to push in Ohio want jobs. Stimulus, people in West that's Virginia a want jobs. Conversation, but the idea that we have to have stimulus on the backs of the health of human beings is ridiculous. I mean, well, there's look, a lot of measures you we can take to stimulate the economy. You should be mad at the but EPA and Barack Obama, for. not me. Well, Barack Obama, the guy that you guys all, right. all well, supported, that's true. is the one who. Yeah. So, I mean, nope. fine.